Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. It's Friday the 7th of October 2022. I do hope you're well, you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. Um, so for today's reading, I'm going to start with the soul connections when two hearts meet. Um, I'm just going to see what the Divine Masculine's current energy is, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing today. Then I'm going to go on to some communication from the Divine Masculine's true self and then i'm going to go on to the divine feminines to see what the divine feminine's current energy is how they're feeling what they're experiencing and some support and guidance for the divine feminines as well how they're feeling so let's see what is it we need to know today about the divine masculine's energy so much is happening at the moment and we are building up for that full moon in aries so make sure you check out that reading guys around this time it's intense because we can feel physical stuff we feel emotional we really feel our fears we're releasing <laughs> so i do hope you're well um thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me i'm so very grateful to each one of you and if you are new to my channel I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. And if you are new, even though I mentioned about dates, it really doesn't matter when you come across my readings. If you feel connected to me, if you understand me and the message resonates, it means it's for you. So let's see, what is it that's going on today with the Divine Masculines around this time? these intense energies <laughs> connection your connection is eternal and unbreakable yes and what else is going to come through confusion all seekers of truth experience confusion ask the divine to provide the answers you need and dreams so they could be having lots of dreams at the moment that's bringing this confusion in um, and share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. So you are their dream as well, but they could be dreaming at night and it's bringing some confusion. You can see this guy in this picture is holding his, you know, holding his head, his hands on his head, feeling a bit strif um, stressed and labyrinth. Even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth. It's always a way when you're trusting and believing in yourself and you're having this relationship with God. Boundaries and making healthy boundaries. Having sensible boundaries is important. And then having to make healthy boundaries, I would say, with their thoughts today. You know, this chatter in their head that's creating this confusion. Um, and Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid's around, yeah. And at the bottom of the deck is true love. True love comes when you least expect it. So, you know, they know that this connection, this relationship with you is true love. They're feeling this love big time today. Love is in the air. But there is some, you know, interference here that's causing this confusion for the divine masculine. So they're having to put these healthy boundaries in place. And that could be with their thoughts, like I said, what goes on in their heads. Or it could be with what's going on around them um, that's making them feel a bit confused. Around the full moon, the new moon, that is where, you know, we do feel that nothing makes any sense. We're like, why is this happening? So, as you know yourself as well, we, we, we feel so many different feelings we have so much going on in this twin flame journey where we feel so loved up we're so you know we know this is true love and we're feeling the, the energy of our divine counterpart we're feeling this connection um so strong like we've ha had no other in our life before we it's just you know completely different it's unexplainable um it is like you know our dream come true but with it we, we and then we have these feelings of you know, of despair, this darkness. So 
I feel that that's what's going on with the Divine Masculines today, where they're feeling so many different emotions, so much love and things around them, things that have held the Divine Masculines back for such a long time that, you know, to keep them stuck, it's really been thrown at them today which is causing them confusing because they're like, what is, you know, what is going on? Why am I feeling this way? Why is this happening? There could be lots of things happening where they've been pushed to the limits to set these healthy boundaries. It's like, you know, just, they've just about had enough. <laughs> and that's how I'm feeling with this energy today. Um, and they do, you know, in the, with the labyrinth, it's about, you know, they've been pushed to the limits and they could be feeling as if they're just about to, ha you know, give up. But in those times is when we do find our strength, that love, that light within ourselves to find the deeper understanding of why we go through what we're going through. Everything that we experience is a blessing in disguise. At the time, it doesn't feel like it. And today, particularly, the Divine Muslims aren't feeling as if it's a blessing. They don't understand why certain things are happening. Um, because you are their dream come true. They could be dreaming about you or the dream could be confusing. There's lots of different ways of um, reading this energy that's coming through today. They know that this connection, you know, you're meant to be with each other, it's eternal. They love, you know, that this is unbreakable. They're feeling loved up. Love is in the air. But something isn't feeling very comfortable for the Divine Muskins today. And again, when we're feeling uncomfortable or we're challenged, that is when we're really doing the work and we're, we're shifting that toxic negative energy that has been within us. We're barging through something. It means we are making so much progress because we're actually working through it instead of avoiding a situation. Things are going to work out and they're going to work through whatever it is that they're going through today. But they're feeling a bit all over the place is what I would say. Um, so let's see what comes through with the communication for the Divine Masculines today because we can pick the energy up from that as well. Um, but yeah, they know that you're their dream and they could be dreaming of you and that could be, you know, creating them to feel this longing for you, missing you. Just wanting to be close to you, but there's other there's things that are in the way, so they're having to set these healthy boundaries. So I'm going to use the silence deck for this um, communication from the Divine Masculines today to see what else is going on. What is it they want to share and express? So what is it the Divine Masculines would love to say to you today from their true self? And what is it they want to get off their chest in this energy today? Nice clear message, please. It's like they're frazzled today. And as you know yourself, energy changes all the time. We're up and down like yo-yos. It will always be you. Yeah, they know it's always going to be you because you are their dream come true. And they know that this love is like no other they've ever experienced in their life. We will be together. Yeah, they know that you're going to be together. And I'm not running from you. I'm running from myself. Isn't it silly? <laughs> so they, they feel a bit silly at times. Because I think, what am I doing? They're confused, you know. What am I doing? You know, why am I running from the best thing that's ever happened to me? I know that this is my true love. I know that we're going to be together. So what am I doing? I'm being ever so silly. So then they have to quieten that chatter again about beating themselves up. And it's just like, oh. And at the bottom of the deck is I'm struggling to cope with the pressure. Yeah, they're under pressure, which goes you know, as I said, these communication brings out what's going on with them today as well, which matches everything that's come through what I've shared in this channel message today. So I'm going to use the Divine Masculine Secrets next, my deck, to see what else is going on. And what is it, the secrets they haven't yet revealed or shared with you? So it's always going to be you. So however it seems to you, Divine Feminines, it's always going to be you. There's nothing to worry about. They know and very clear that you're going to be together. They know this is eternal love. And they want you to be, you know, to reassure you that they're not running from you. They're running from themselves. And as you know, what this journey is about, as I always say to you, 
even though you're the one that's giving, you was running from yourself and your divine muscle just reflects that back to you. You wasn't giving love to yourself. You was giving your energy, your love to everything else but you. So that was what was reflected back to you. So it felt as if you was giving and you was chasing, but you was running. So it is very deep, this journey. So what else is it that you need to know from the Divine Masculine today? And what is their secrets? I'm sorry I lied to you and this caused so much pain. Yeah, so they're feeling a bit guilty, a bit bad about things, about what they've said to you and they've lied about it. And that they know that they've caused you pain. So that's why huh, this guy is looking a bit stressed. I will do whatever it takes so that we can be, so I can, so I can be with you again. You are the reason my heart is still beating. This is amazing how this is all coming through. The messages as well. Um, when I look at the moon and the stars, it makes me feel so close to you. So that when they go outside and look up to the sky and see the moon and the stars, it makes them feel so close to you. It makes them feel alive. That is when they're in tune with themselves and with heart power as well. That beautiful time when they're looking up at the moon and the stars. And they know that, you know, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, the moon and the stars are there as well. You're, you're laying under the, the same stars and moon. <laughs> so um, very special messages. But you are the reason why their heart is still beating. Their heart is beating big time at the moment. Their, so, their love is just like full of so much that they want to express this love. And they will do whatever it takes so they can be with you again. It doesn't matter what's in the way. They will get through this. They are seeing through the illusions, but we do have those days when it's all a bit too much and it's one of those days today <laughs> and they're feeling bad about lying to you. So let's see what's going on with you, Divine Feminines, today. So I'm going to use this deck again for the Soul Connections when two hearts meet. So what's going on with the Divine Feminines today? If any of you guys are interested in any extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. I do offer a private membership, a phone session, and I do private twin flame meetings. So what else do we need to know? The Divine Feminines today, what's their current energy? And what's the support and the guidance to help the Divine Feminines take the lead to stay in their truth, which always trust and believe in what they already know. So that one wanted to come temptation think carefully about the situation so you could be feeling tempted today maybe tempted to go back into old ways to go back into your comfort zone um to get caught up with that chatter in your head to listen to that chatter in your head or things that you used to do maybe that temptation to, for old behaviors to come through so again you're just going to have to put that into your situation how it resonates with you so Let's see what else is coming through for you, Divine Feminines. Temptation. Think carefully before you do anything, whatever your situation is. Make sure you ground yourself and, you know, you quieten that chatter. You have that um, peaceful time with yourself. Love conquers all. Yeah, so remember, love conquers all. So don't go back into fear mode. Because that's what you attract more to. You, you attract more difficult times. And um, when you're thinking through the... when you're Sorry, when you're seeing through the eyes of love, that's when things run smoothly. And at times it is really difficult because the ego doesn't want to in, interfere. And we do want to go off on one and go back into our old ways. But we do have this love. We do have that deeper understanding um, to always see the bigger picture and not just look at things on a surface level to, to actually put the love into the situation and then that is solving all your problems it can it conquers everything love does make the world go round and past lives um and at the bottom of the deck is soul your soul is preparing to reconnect trust in the process yes yeah, so trust this process don't give up and be tempted to go back into your old ways this is eternal love and in the time of you not being with a physical person, everything that you've gone for, it, gone through, 
it is your soul preparing for you to to come back together in this lifetime because you've you've had so many lifetimes together huh. this isn't just about you and your divine masculine this is about your loved ones that have passed you could be getting strong messages you know guidance from your loved ones that have passed and they're helping you right now to get through to help you push forwards in your journey to complete these karmic lessons or these tough cycles they're coming in supporting you so i feel the love um card that's come through it's just a reminder that love can conquer all so don't get tempted and go back to old ways don't get tempted and be open to receive this guidance this love from your loved ones know that they are always with you and there could be things that you're ha that's happening to you today where you're receiving these messages so whatever's going on for you today love is going to conquer all the power of love changes everything but you've got to make sure you're in that place to actually to feel that peace to move away from the distractions the temptations so you can be in tune with yourself and have this relationship with God to be in tune, you know, to, to open yourself up to the love and support from God universe the angels and other people um, that want to support guide you as well so quite heavy energy today I'm getting for this reading for the Divine Muskins and the Divine Feminine. So it's definitely to do with that full moon in Aries. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I do hope that it resonates and it helps you understand how you could be feeling today and what's going on with your Divine Masculine. And thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I am so very grateful for each one of you for the gifts, the donations and the emails. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.